Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode four of The Acolyte. I am so excited. I have been thinking about this all week and I can't wait to see where we're going to go next. Are we going to get more backstory this episode? Are we going to continue in the present day? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. So let's get into it. So far. Is this where Kelnaka was? It was! Okay, so we're back in the present? Yeah, because he's kind of like hiding out here. Kind of like a... Maybe like a Yoda on Dagobah? Kind of situation? I don't know. Those look like the witch symbols. Honestly, this seems like a chill life. What the fuck happened, man? What actually went on? Oh, love Maximize Jackie. your defenses without need to strike. I came to say goodbye. You're not staying? Thank you. For what? For helping me find my sister. Prove my innocence, clear my name. Aww. I just do my duty. I, I love Jackie, she's so cute. Life. And thanks to you, I've seen her with my own eyes. Don't tell me you'll miss me. <laughs> oh! You care about me. You mourn the years lost between the two of you. Someone must find me before she does any more harm. I just, I can't. Yes, you can. Next time I'm on Coruscant, though, I'll look you up. And we'll go to a cantina and trade stories about Master Soul. Did you say goodbye to him? Cost him enough trouble. No, you can't leave without saying goodbye. No, go find Salt right now. That man deserves you to say goodbye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't just take off if I were you. Kofar is massively uncharted. I know bounty hunters won't set foot in these forests. Oh, but you have. Yep. Yes, I have. Interesting. To find the Wookiee. You went in there and risked your life for my master? No, I risked my life to help you. Because he is the master. You need me. Suspicious. I feel like though they're leading us to believe that he's this the 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 dark side user, but like what if he just isn't? What if that's just a bit? It feels too obvious. Like, it'd be cool if it was him, but it feels obvious now that we've seen these things. It's like, mm. That Kiari Mundi. She is fast, but weak. Her emotions guide her every choice in combat. Yet there is skill there. It might yes. not be. It might just her be someone of his same species. But who? She doesn't know her master's identity. The four Jedi stationed on her home planet when she was a child. How odd. She turns up all these years later, trained by one of our own. You think a Jedi taught her? Even a hologram can tell me that. We must alert the High Council. The High Council would be obliged to inform the Senate. Sixteen years ago. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. But I saw her fall. No one could have survived that. I mean, he's not lying. Let me be the one to bring her in. I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. A plan that is difficult to see. Oh, uh, probably. Some sort of shift. I thought she said shit. I read shit snails. in the captions. I was like, she resists huh? Her and hold and neutralizes her. It won't come to that. Then the whole master will truly be lost to us. It has to be some sort of test, right? You engage unarmed, but can we use their saber? Ah, uh, okay. Or so is that cheating? That's why I'm she was trying to get the saber? This time. You, you failed so much. I Don't. didn't fail. I killed them. You failed so them. much. <laughs> but you killed them your way. What kind of deal did you make with him? I didn't. Uh, we didn't it, exactly. I, I just owe him. You know how he is. He collects people. I've never seen his face. Have you? You know I haven't. 
Oh look, there it is. Ah, changing the subject. The Come here. What is? What is? Can't believe my sister shed ice scum. It's like the day we met. Yeah, well, I would do that if I had the tools, Pit, but I don't have those. All right. Osha. Ah, shit. So. I went to find you, and Jackie said you already left. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye. I need your help. You want me to rejoin the Jedi? Well, not officially. Oh. Um. Oh. You need me so you can get to her. So. I can't. There is still good in her. The part of her that loves you. She's a murderer. I hope he's right. But also, she's right too. But she is still your family. Well, yeah, but like, you're still not gonna trust your family if they're a murderer. Like, that's not how that I'm... works. I. Uh... <sighs> but I'm not wearing that civilian robe. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You have to. Oh, come on. Come on. The order oh, look at her. Is that a poncho? Calcastus would be proud. To our warning transmissions. Hello? Who are you? No, please don't eat him. Oh! Hi? Who's that? That's Basil. Basil! No, no, very comprehensive briefing, Yord. <laughs> Yord Hord. I need to know more about Basil. What is he? Kalaka is in there. He can sense him. But good luck going in there, though. How do we find him? We have a tracker. Okay, so Basil is their sniffer dog, basically. Ah, oh, look at him go! Oh, look at his, look at him! Oh, he's so wonderful. That looks like Plo Koon. Again, probably just the same species, but... His name is Basil, and yes, although most Padawans want to learn Shiriwok, I took it upon myself to learn a language a little more nuanced. All right, Slay King. I mean, surely Kelnak is gonna sense them coming, right? Especially May, because she's force sensitive. And maybe Kimmer's force sensitive. Who knows? Dude, Basil is an absolute G. <laughs> Look at him! What is it? He says there's something wrong here. Something rotten. Yeah, that doesn't look too appealing. Please don't touch it. I just said don't touch it. Oh, sure. Honestly, I was kind of hoping she'd get... She'd get Pip out to scan it. If this is spiders... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, it's like... Oh, Maybe you should tell people that that just happened. Maybe you should warn someone that the thing you just touched just fucking... Just fucking disappear. So. <laughs> Who do I have to speak to to stop having gruesome, disgusting bugs in Star Wars? <laughs> Thank soul. I mean, I don't know if it's attracted to the light of the saber. I think it's just coming at you because you're humans and it wants to kill you. I don't know if it's anything to do with the light, but I mean, it could be, but I'd more judge it based on your its food. It's always an honor to get to witness anything or anyone transform into the force. Although you've had more experience with death than I have. 
Well, I could never accept death as a true Jedi should. I couldn't accept what I'd lost. How unfair it felt. The resentment that I felt for my sister. I mean, valid. No, I, I missed her at the same time. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. You've survived a lot. Oh my god! Okay, that might just become one of my new favorite Star Wars quotes. Also, I love that I love their like connection that they're they're growing. I have to fight a Wookiee after this trek. I'd like to rest for a Himir's minute. Himir's hiding something. It's right with you. It's not, but okay. How do you kill someone like that? Unarmed. It's not a test. It's impossible. It's it's not impossible. We know that. I'm gonna find you more water. Hey, right. You need to rest. You're losing your nerve. We can't have that, can we? Is he taking his bag to go change into his fancy mask? He seems so on edge. He's so on edge about something and he feels like a little bit guilt trippy. She knows. She knows he's up to something. What is her plan? Is she gonna spy on him? I don't see him. What? Basil. Great. He's no, you can't lose Basil! I swear we need a tracker just to track our tracker. Why don't you put a tracker so on him? We've lost Basil. What? Oh. Oh my god. Help! Help! <laughs> me. 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 Help. You know, after running through that forest for an extremely long time, I realized something. I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't Osha being alive changes everything. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What, what are you doing? Interesting. What I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kelmaka and then turn myself into the Jedi. No, 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 stop, stop. Uh, May. May. Oh, poor Kimir. I feel like it. No, I'm like, maybe he isn't the dark side user and he's just like a little guy and. I feel like he's scared of the master if it's not him. I don't know. Uh, they're just gonna come along and find Kamir. What are you sensing? What is it? It's nothing. Nothing. You wouldn't let me confront my own Olega. You're going to face your past. Both of us will. Once we get May safely to the ship, I explain everything. Yeah, please do explain everything. Yes. Explain it for us too, please. Like right now. See, surrendering yourself to a Wookiee probably isn't the best shot, especially a Wookiee Jedi, because I don't want him to rip your limbs off. Oh no. Oh, hi. Oh, buddy. <laughs> He's found me. Also, those things that exploded remind me of stuff that you'd find in like Fallen Order and Survivor. Please don't just run into uh, into his home. Oh Christ! Master Kilnaka. He's not dead, is he? You're fucking kidding me, what? He's here. What the fuck? 
No, 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 you're not giving us the fucking Jedi Wookiee and just taking him away like that. There's no fucking way. Is that what he sensed then? Did he sense Kalnaka dying? And now she's gonna get blamed for it. With your hands where we can see Fuck. Them. That means you, May Anasea. Oh, he knows they're not alone. Oh. Is this the scene from like the trailer where they all have their lightsabers and stuff out? Oh! Hello! Identify yourself. That is terrifying. Oh my fucking god. Oh, in and your fuck. Holy shit. No! You. No! No! Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> I'm waiting to see the credits because I want to see if that was Yari Mundi. God, these credits take a long while to get to the to the cast. It was Kiari Mundi. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cool, dude. Dude has lived for a long time, so we've now got confirmation that Kiari Mundi and Yoda. Both of their species, obviously, they live hundreds of years. Obviously, we already knew that about Yoda, but it's interesting now knowing that about Kiari Mundi. Because I don't know if we ever knew about that. I mean, I don't know enough about his species to know, like, to know that kind of thing, I guess. But that's kind of cool. Um, I wasn't sure if that was, like, Plo Koon in the background or whatever, but we haven't. Obviously, he didn't speak, so it could just be, like, a little Easter egg. Um... But, Keanu Mundi, that's pretty cool. Okay, so definitely a very interesting development with this episode. I thought it was a really cool episode. It was really, like, it had me on edge for most of it while they were, like, in the forest and stuff. And then when they caught up with May, um, I feel like I wish the episode was longer. I wish all the episodes were longer. Um, I will say, first of all, I'll go into my uh, my sort of less happy parts of it. Um, I am a little bit pissed that they just killed Kelnaka like that. Um, I get it. I mean, he was gonna, you know, she was gonna kill him anyway, but I feel like we've been set up to be excited for a Jedi Wookiee, and then we just, he just dies off screen, and we don't get any, like, proper scenes with him, at least not, like, in the present day. Like, we've still possibly got more stuff with him in the flashbacks, but I feel like we didn't get anything. They showed him literally, like, walking around at the start of the episode. And it is, like... Is that all that we get of him? Is he actually dead? Is it a Force illusion? Like, so, okay, so here's the thing. It could, it could be an illusion. For all we know, it, it seems like he is dead, but it could also be an illusion. So we can't rule it out completely because we don't know because the episodes haven't come out yet. Um... So obviously, in the flashback, we saw that this was from Osha's point of view. And to her knowledge, what she saw was May lit everything on fire, exploded things, all that kind of stuff. But then when she found May as they were running away, May was like, what have you done? And she was like, well, what have you done? Um, and obviously, Osha saw visions of May, so I do think that there's more at work behind all this. I do think some of it may be illusions, some of it may be... Again, it kind of does also lead into the fact that it could possibly be Mother Coral that is, you know, the master, which I don't know if that's possible, I don't know, but it kind of just, it kind of, it kind of explains why maybe Kelnaka might still be alive, and maybe that was just, like, some kind of like, bait and switch, some kind of, like, force illusion, some kind of... I have no idea. I'm just kind of coming up with things that make me hold out hope that Kilnaka is still alive. 
Um, because there is a lot of force illusionary going on at the minute. Like, let's let's be honest. It also seems like the Jedi obviously aren't aware. So I know a lot of people's uh, concerns with this show was going to be the fact that, you know, in... Was it The Phantom Menace? They said that the, the Sith haven't been seen for, like, a millennia. Like, you know, they haven't been around, blah, blah, blah. Um, they've never specifically called this master a Sith. He just wields, he has a scary mask and wields a, a red lightsaber. So obviously, yeah, we're, we're sort of led to believe that he is a Sith, but we don't know for sure if he is a Sith, if he's posing as a Sith, if they're just a dark side user and have a red lightsaber. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean they're a Sith. Because I'm pretty sure Kylo Ren wasn't a Sith, right? He wasn't, like, specifically a Sith. He was a dark side user. Wanted to be a Sith. Wanted to be a Sith, but I don't think he was, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But uh, that's what my brain is reminding me. There have been dark side users that have used lightsabers, so we have no idea. Um, the Jedi also never specifically called him a Sith. The Jedi said that, uh, you know, they were calling it May's master. Um, so obviously, again, that doesn't so i so basically i checked i i checked my discord in between the episode and me recording this part um and someone mentioned that this breaks canon it does not break canon we have i don't think we know again correct me if i'm wrong i don't think we know very much about uh Gaddy mundi or his species we don't really see his species very often i don't know if we've seen any other than him we might have done but i don't pay that much attention um, I, it doesn't break canon because again, they haven't specifically called him a Sith. And also, Kiari Mundi wasn't there when they found this guy. Uh, they were just debating on who is, who is telling May to go kill these Jedi and who that she's been trained by. Um, so at this point, it doesn't specifically break canon. If you think it does, then that's on you. That's fine. But... From what we're aware of, I don't think that this show was going to be allowed to go forward if it breaks canon that much. It's not going to happen. Anakin, uh, Anakin's birth was not like made less special. It wasn't decanonized. It wasn't broken. Completely different scenario here with witches. Regardless, aside from all that, I did enjoy the episode. I'm really, really excited for next week. Now, I hope next week's episode continues with this part and doesn't immediately go back to another flashback because i feel like that would be very i don't i don't i don't want that I, I i think that would really take us out of the moment i think what they should do is they should finish off what they were up to and then when soul said that he'll explain everything and that's when we get the the real flashback the real knowledge of what actually happened i really hope that that's the way it goes but it was really cool to have him finally here i'm intrigued as to where the fuck Kimir has gone i feel like they're making it too obvious to be Kimir because like oh he's with us he's all on edge and stuff like that and he's you know being really weird about this master and he has a backpack with him that we don't know what's inside and then suddenly may gets suspicious of him and ties him up and then she leaves him and then oh suddenly the sith is here so it's like i feel like it's too obvious and i feel like it's not him if it is him fair enough but i feel like they've made it too obvious uh to actually be him I feel like they're making us want to think that it's him and it is actually not. Um, or maybe he has a twin. Who knows? Um, but no, uh, I'm I'm definitely intrigued to see where this is going to go. Um, I am still in love with Soul. Soul, you have my heart. Soul Patrol forever. Uh, I'm loving Jackie and Osha's friendship. I think that they get on really, really well. And I think they have really good chemistry. Uh, whether that's the characters, whether that's the actors themselves, uh, both just, it, they work. They work really well together. And yeah, I just think, I just think this was, it was a fun episode. Again, had me on edge and um, I'm really intrigued to see what the fuck is going to happen next. Because this, this dark side user is strong. Uh, and I can't wait for some action. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.